Hello YouTube friends, Alicia here with a video. This is a little golden book, Santa's Toy Shop. It's the second uh, Santa's Toy Shop book I've done. I think I actually have two more. I don't know if I'll do them all this year, but I have a hard time leaving them behind when they're 25 cents and I think they're adorable. So I go ahead and pick them up. Um, this journal was somewhat of a nightmare, but anyways, it is complete now. It is for sale. It is $25 US plus shipping. Two signatures. The original story is here. I have some red trim on the side, as you can see. Some green rickrack. Um, some... Oh, I forgot what the, this is, but it's a, like the thick fabric. And then, of course, I have vintage trim. Uh, vintage seam binding down the side. And I've tied it with vintage seam binding. I did tie knots in the end because... Um, there's no plastic or anything in here for it to melt, so if you burn it, it starts f on fire. I know I tried it, because I, because I tried it. Um, anyways, book corners on the edges as normal. And then on the inside, it's stiff because the spine is stiff, but um, the fabric here is really, really stiff. Um, more of that vintage seam binding. And then I have some here with some red trim. This is a new trim. I love it. And then I sewed some red um, lace and then some washi on this signature. This one I double stitched. It's, I only did that one that way. Um, I don't know that I cared for it. So, but I don't know. You don't know if you don't try. This is a pocket um, that I punched. This is a holograph page, holographic page. And I added this piece here uh, just in case you want to cover it up uh, with a picture or writing. Because you can't, I mean, you could add pictures to this, but you can't write on it. So I guess just in case you want to write on it, not if you want to add pictures. Um, some cardstock, naughty or nice. I pulled out my stencils and I pulled out my stamps and dyed my papers. The scrapbook is just random sheets for the most part. Uh, more of that silver washi. I'd like to use some of that stuff up this year. Um, Christmas tree stamp. Snowman stamp all down the edge. That's an old Stamping Up stamp. I think it's from like 94 or something crazy. Um, I obviously bought it used. Uh, this is kind of fun. So, oh, I should say Gail Augustinality. Agastinelli, sorry, has a tutorial on little golden books so that you don't have to cut the pages and you don't have to extend the spine. I did extend the spine in this and that was the part that was a nightmare so I don't think I'll, well, I don't know if I'll do it again, but I like her way better and that is to fold the pages and then add a tip in or whatever it's called. So I did that and then on this one I added, a fold, I folded a full sheet in half, made a pocket here and made a pocket here and then made a pocket here. So it's really thick, but it's cute. So this is actually sewing on to the end of this page. I don't know if that makes sense, but like I said, she has a tutorial on, on it on her channel. Lots of writing space, lots of space for pictures. No coffee dyeing. There is dye paper, but it's none of it's coffee dyed. Uh, an envelope that I just added that silver tape to. I think that's really pretty. Uh, some of my paper tape that I picked up this year. Okay, this signature is a little bit loose on the bottom. It's not going to come out of the journal, but just a fair warning. I have a stenciling and some star stickers. And then my tree stamp. Another stencil. I do not have tons of Christmas papers, which is why I don't use just uh, full sets normally. I did pick up two paper pads this year, but one of them was the pink set. And um, the other one, there are some pages up from it in here. More stenciling. I use my Distress inks. I love my Distress inks. This is another tip and page. 
um, pocket here. This doesn't really, I mean, it comes up to here, but it doesn't, it's just decorative. There was some pen on the page. And some of the pages have a little bit of spray at the bottom, pink spray from when I was making my red paper, uh, because I didn't move my journal out of the way when I was spraying. More stenciling. Oops. More of that holographic paper. A nutcracker stamp. This is the beginning or the end of the first signature and now the second signature some sparkle tape and this one a, a little bit of the stenciling came through but it's not too bad um here's a pocket and a flip up for a writing spot um i sent a little christmas tree and then i made some christmas gifts just out of cardstock put them on Oh, good gracious, my hands aren't working. This cardstock here and the one with the ornaments and one with the words are all from Michaels in the States. Some more stenciling. And there's some of that pink on the bottom, which it's not really a big deal. It's not like it clashes with the journal, but just fair warning. I like this paper. I don't know what collection it is. It was just random sheets I had. Uh, pockets. And as you can see, the pockets aren't stuffed with anything. The paper I dyed. Um, it's very empty. <laughs> but lots of room in it. And there's lots of pages. Each signature, I think, has 16 pages. Um, of course, and then they're folded in half, so it's 32, 64 sides in each signature. Another red envelope. More of that tape. This paper is neat too. It's almost like a plastic. I don't know what it is. I just think it's kind of neat. Another pocket. This flips out. Um, some washi tape with some rickrack. To decorate that page. Another pocket there. Um, some more of that rickrack. Actually, I used up all that piece of rickrack and more of that ribbon, which makes me happy. I have more of it. I I do like rickrack. Um, naughty or nice, but it's really ha ha really nice to get some stock moving and have some space for some new stuff. Another pocket here. Somebody gifted me this. It was actually a gift box and I um, cut it apart. It's super cute. And more of my sewing machine going completely wonky, but I mean the lace holds so that was the purpose of it. And a little bit of the red, but more of that green rickrack. And this is the back of the journal. And so, I don't know, I think it's super cute. And um, yeah, like I said, it's for sale, 25 US. If you're interested, leave a comment. And I have one other kind of strange request. If you see this video, can you comment, just leave any comment that lets me know that you've seen the video. What I'm trying to figure out is who watches my videos based on YouTube and who watches them based on the Facebook groups. And it's it's really it's just because I'm wondering, not because it matters for anything. So yeah, if you see this video, um, just say hey. And then of course, once I post it to Facebook, I'll I'll know um, who's watching it um, more based on Facebook. Anyways, any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you for watching.